Ian Leo, I doubt they've got a, a royalist front page, have they? No, they don't. Um, so they've got the, uh, the, the terrible news that nurses and ambulance staff are going to go on strike on the same day, on the 6th of February. So don't have anything wrong with you on the 6th of February. I mean, although they're going on strike and this is going to be terrible, we've been seeing the impact of, uh, of underfunding and, and poor resourcing and, and just poor organisation in the NHS, yeah. uh, particularly ambulance, for, for a long time now. So the ambulance, the, the waiting time before the pandemic was 20 minutes for an ambulance, and it's gone up to 90 minutes and that's just to get the ambulance there. Then yeah. they've got to get you to hospital. Then you sit in a queue at hospital. You, then sit, you sit in the in a queue at the hospital at the other end is the trouble, isn't yeah, it? They can yeah. sit in the car park for hours and hours yeah, and hours. Yeah, that's why the ambulances aren't free to, to pick people up. I'm a little bit confused about this, as I often am. The, the nurses and the ambulance drivers have not been coordinating their action until now then. This is the first time that they're going to make a concerted effort to join forces. And I had always assumed that there was a sort of, basically, a hospital was on strike. It's no, obviously it's, a slightly naive understanding of it. It's unprecedented, Simon. It says yeah. just right there. I don't remember that word, yeah. unprecedented. That is it's, bizarre. You would yeah. think that would be precedented. Yes, you would. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know why the government doesn't just start the negotiations. You're obviously going to have to do it. Why pick a fight with the most popular people in the country, which is yeah. nurses? I think when it's the rail, as I've said before, quite a lot of people are going, hang on, they get paid quite a lot to, yeah. to sit there and drive the train. The nurses, you know, they're just the most beloved people in the country, so it's a total loser politically. But but, there, were, there were a few people who uh, had their doubts during the dancing nurses on TikTok. True. Yeah, but, and also, um, I mean, if, if we raise... All the, all the unions are sort of taking advantage of this temporary... It should be a temporary peak in inflation to come out and say, oh, our wages must match inflation. But when inflation right. comes down, are the right. unions going to come out we demand our wages go down. Yeah, it's like, yeah. no, they're, they're just trying to steal some gains. You want, it, can. You want it to be in line true. with food because that's the highest inflation there is. But um, <laughs> do you know what, Simon? You're right. I've thought about it. The negotiation should be that. It should be, how about this? We'll give a raise to everyone except the ones that danced. That yeah. could be how they get <laughs> <laughs> Disincentivised dancing. And we should just mention, this is grim and there's not much to be drawn from it, but the, the horrific picture on the front page there of the uh, helicopter crash just outside Kiev, yeah. or Kiev, in which 18 people died, including Ukraine's minister of internal affairs and a child yes a yeah. fell in a kindergarten apparently that is brutal um, even by the standards of this war I don't think we know yet whether it's uh, it's actual it's an accident or if it's Russian interference I mean the thing about helicopters during water well just generally they do go down quite often don't they yeah, I would yeah. never fancy them myself I remember I was on a helicopter in the Falklands we went out five comedians to entertain the troops in the Falklands and they took us on a helicopter like a joyride basically yeah. around uh, the island and everyone else had the helmet on with the with the earpieces in so they could hear the pilot and the conversation right, yeah. was obviously ferociously noisy. Mine was just like ear defenders, just silence. And I noticed everyone was getting a little bit, like, looking a bit stressed out anyway in the last half an hour or so. And when we landed, they explained to me, I was the only one who didn't know, one of the props had failed. Oh, right. They were, like, on a, on a twin prop uh, Chinook or whatever it was, right, and yeah, one, of them, yeah. one of them had gone, and they had been called back to base urgently to Jeez. get down before because they were, yeah. So you're flying on one rotor? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, bloody that's that's terrifying. That's why I don't leave the house. Um, <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do so the what about the myth?